Hey there, YouTube land. And today is kind of that's the third part of my uh, my epic birthday haul. Today I got my I got a card from my uh, dad, and it had a Best Buy gift certificate. And uh, since I love shopping up uh, that way, there was something that I really wanted to pick up for a while, <clears throat> so I went up and I grabbed it today. And uh, I got a couple things to show you. I got my son's birthday gift to show you. And it's pretty epic. Uh, so I grabbed Planet of the Apes: The Legacy Collection. I love this here, uh, this cover, and I wanted to get this like Blu-ray collection for a while. Actually, when I came out of the store, I accidentally got the DVD edition, and uh, but I came went back in and got the other one. So I'm a huge fan of Planet of the Apes films. They're probably my favorite sci-fi series. I mean, that includes all the sci-fi ones that are out there. You know, like Star Wars, Star Trek, all that. Planet of the Apes was was the one that kind of did it for me. I love the uh, the series that was on. The TV series was kind of fun. The cartoon series was very smartly done. I, I like that a lot. And I love the films. I love the new films, and I think uh, the fact that the Planet of the Apes series turned out to be the, uh, what I consider to be the best series, you know, remake series kind of like now out there, is a, is a testament to seeing how well the source material was in the original. So here it is. And uh, all pretty standard. It's got a Planet of the Apes. Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Escape from the Planet of the Apes. Conquest from the of the Planet of the Apes, and uh, Battle for the Planet of the Apes, and of course on uh, I know that on Battle on the original Planet of the Apes there's a uh, I think two and a half hour documentary on the uh, entire franchise, which is really good, dealing a lot with the original movie, of course. <clears throat> now, two things that I love, oh, three things I love are horror movies and video games. And there's a time when something came out that combined all that when I was young when I was younger well when I was younger and uh, I used to play it a lot back in the NES days I played a, uh, a game called Friday the 13th and it was really fun it was kind of cheesy and uh, if you watch the uh, the anger video game nerd who does an hilarious episode like talking about it <clears throat> and uh, with all its faults and stuff I always thought it was one of the great cool games that I love to go back to and uh, you know nothing beats Friday the 30th and throwing rocks at zombies and bats and it's just crazy stuff with insane a labyrinth of whole areas to get through and stuff like that so my son who never buys me movies because he knows I've got a lot of films tries to get me uh, collectibles and uh, if you look up there you can see that my uh, Jason from part 2 uh, my which is uh, one of my favorite uh, actually Friday the 13th movies was got for my son for Christmas so for uh, my birthday, he actually he really did himself, and uh, <clears throat> this is not a toy. It is the Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees mask from the uh, replica from the uh, from the game. So there's the game box right there. You can see it there. And of course, this is a, the glow in the dark. They're kind of like the oddly colored one because Jason's suit was very oddly colored in the uh, in there. So. It, Got it here like this. It's Jason Prop mask, gorgeous mask. Uh, really proud of this. Actually, this is just an amazingly done uh, collectible. It's going to go into my uh, go just like this here, right into my case, right into my uh, collectible case. Uh, I love the fact that they got the uh, the wording on the front done, kind of like almost like an eight bit type of wording. If you can see that there, hopefully you can. Uh, you can see that the uh, the background is the uh, what the rooms looked like when you went into the cabins in the uh, in the Friday the Thirteenth game. So uh, this is cool, you know. You are dead. All your friends are dead. There's no hope. It's a uh, so again amazing stuff here. I got finally have my complete Planet of the Apes Blu-ray collection. I've been wanting this for a long time. I love this artwork. I just think it's amazing. Incredible the way they got it done. I missed out on the uh, the other Planet of the Apes set at one time. It was like a, a book, and I kept going to buy it. And it was going to be it was at Future Shop for ages, and then I didn't buy it, and it sold out. So this is the uh, the next best thing for finding the Planet of the Apes, and this is just an incredible, incredible set. And uh, thank you, Dad, for actually uh, getting this one, letting me get this one because I've been wanting this for a long, long time. <clears throat> so thank you, Matt, for getting me this 
amazing thing that I, uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I oh, did not even know this existed. I knew there was a uh, figure out there, like a, uh, it was a Comic Con exclusive last year at San Diego Comic Con. They had like a Jason uh, figure, which was really cool. And um, we had kind of like thought about going to the Comic Con that year. And we ended up not going. We uh, had other things we had to do. I started, uh, I think I started jobbering that time. So we couldn't do it. But uh, at least, but now I have the Jason mask. I love this. This is awesome. <clears throat> As you guys know, I do collect masks, and uh, I got a few Lucha Libre masks, uh, Luchador masks. I got a, uh, I got the Orphan Killer mask, and uh, I got the Scream mask. But I, there's a couple others that, that I have. I got the Kane mask, you know, but the cheap Kane mask I got it actually has a really nice. If you ever seen my uh, Facebook, you see me post the picture with me and the Kane mask. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm uh, stoked, so stoked about having. Uh, the Planet of the Apes Legacy Collection. Finally, I love the artwork. Again, it's just just amazing stuff that they did here. And uh, my latest in line of collectibles. And uh, this is a pretty cool one. NECA it does really quality stuff, so it's nice to see uh, something there. This is the Real Ties line, and I love the Real Ties line. I have a couple of their things right now, actually. Uh, up there, if you look. Um, NECA is one of the companies I like a lot. Usually when we have the Sci-Fi and the Rock convention here, that's one of the conventions that we have here, uh, most of the time I usually find like one NECA that I uh, usually pick up, whether it's uh, like Bud over there or uh, along the lines of the uh, of a Creature from the Black Lagoon with the Jude Adams one, or uh, one year it was uh, Chop Top, which should be there somewhere. I can't... Where is my Chop Top at? It must have fallen over. But, um, so, from my better half who's over there playing on the uh, iPad, from me who's about to have some tea, yeah, it is time for tea, and from, uh, 8-Bit Jason, have a good night, and, uh, enjoy some tea and play some video games. Oh my god, I almost forgot. I cannot let this one pass. Oh, Nintendo had a huge announcement yesterday. Did you watch Nintendo Direct? If you were like, oh man, should I have gotten a Wii U? Yes, yes, you really should have because right now Nintendo announced that the Virtual Console has moved up to include Nintendo 64 and Nintendo DS games. Uh, Super Mario 64 is like extremely cheap to buy right now on the... Uh, on the Wii U console from if it's still on on sale. I haven't got my Wii U hooked up yet, but I gotta check it out. Uh they just did some amazing stuff, uh some great announcements. Uh they're going some big places with the amiibos. They're even doing amiibo cards. I'm not sure if I like the amiibo cards as much as the our regular amiibos. Um uh, but it's cool that they're gonna be doing stuff with that. The amiibos are now gonna be used to they have like little mini like uh, game demos on each amiibo, and you're not gonna know which game demo it is until you turn it on. So it's basically, you can buy Mario, and you may not have like a the demo for Mario. You may try to put Mario on your on your uh, thing and gonna, instead of being like a Mario could be like a Metroid game or something like that. Um, it's really cool stuff. They announced the Animal Crossing new game, with, but it's gonna have amiibo cards instead of amiibo figures. I prefer to have amiibo figures, but I can see where they're going with the card collectability type of thing. Um, I would love to see a Pokemon game on the Wii U um, that uh, had Amiibo figures and cards, kind of a combination of both. And I'm sure that if Nintendo ever like relents and puts a Pokemon game onto an actual, like we got on the on the 3DS, onto an actual system, uh, that is going to sell gangbuster amount of systems. Uh, so Nintendo went from like a, we're making a new system to uh, going behind the system like crazy. And uh, when Nintendo first announced that they were going to make, you know, they were, we're working on a new system, it was kind of like people went and took it like, oh, they're giving up on the Wii U. But the thing is that everyone was made, are working on a new system. Sony right now, with their PS4, they're, trust me, they're working on a new system. Xbox One, Microsoft, they're working on their new system because that, before that thing launches, before those guys launch, they're already looking at years down the road. They have the plan like that. And that's, that's just the way that it goes. Uh, the life cycle of a of game consoles, we hope to get a good eight to ten years out of a 
out of a game console. I, <clears throat> me personally, uh, I'm really glad with the stuff that I got. And I was angry, but the Wii U thing first. It, and I was like, you know, I was looking at my better half, and I was like, you know, I'm going to sell that system. I'm just, I'm pissed. And I'm like, I play Super Mario Kart and uh, Super Mario World and Super Smash Brothers. And I love those games. <clears throat> it's not like... I love those games. They're fun. They're cool to play. And uh, there's more. Actually, yes, they announced another character. After saying there was not going to be any more characters for Super Smash Brothers, we're getting Luke from Earthbound. Now, if we could only get Earthbound, <laughs> they have Nintendo 64 things on the console. Well, I want to play Earthbound again. I'd love to play it on a, on a, on a virtual console. So let's hope that's going to be uh, something down the road now that we've got Luke and Super Smash Brothers. So uh, you can actually go online to uh, Nintendo and you can vote for who you want to be in the new Super Sm in the Super Smash Brothers game. So yeah, there's going to be more characters that they're going to bring out there. And the decision is going to be based on us guys. So um, who would you like to see from the uh, from Nintendo's world that has not come on, to, uh, come on to Super Smash Brothers yet? Is there like a character from Nintendo, someone that uh, kind of a cooler, more background character that's never been used before. And maybe there's a Sega character that they got that you'd like to see uh, put on the system. We know we've seen Sonic on there. Um, you want to see Starfy and characters like that on the, on, the, on Super Smash Brothers? Well, you it's in your hands to do that now. So, again, guys, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I've rambled on a bit, but I had to tell you the news because I was really excited about that. And one more thing. <laughs> Arrow made their announcements <clears throat> today for their new movies and damn they did some good stuff so uh three women which is also on the criterion label uh with sissy spacek is uh being released mona lisa of course as you already, already know is being released but there were some big announcements today uh, blood rage is one that uh the second that was announced it was like okay yeah i'm having blood rage that's 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 one that's gonna be in my collection and tobe hooper's eaten live i love eaten live and uh I own it on the Dark Sky Edition, but will I upgrade my you know, Eaton Live to a Blu-ray edition with, with some new features? Yeah, that's probably one of my favorite Tobe Hooper films. I think it's one of the most underrated ones. Neville Brand does a fantastic job now. It's just a really cool, really different type of movie. And, uh, of course, uh, we have uh, Marilyn Burns in it as the, uh, again. And, uh, of course, there's uh, Robert England, who's Buck. And he loves to, well, I'm not going to go into that, but uh, watch the movie. You'll find out in the first five seconds of the film. Thanks for watching. Before I find out something else, and yes, there's more. Masters of Cinema, the best media group, which uh, does a lot of Masters of Cinema stuff. Right now, if you go to Amazon UK, Masters of Cinema, all their all their steelbooks, a bunch of their, uh, their Blu-rays, they're on sale right now. Rock bottom prices. You can get steelbooks as low as $3.99 pounds so great stuff too i mean they have some classic classic stuff master of cinema is some really cool stuff so check it out for me right now it really is time for tea because my throat's going my voice is going we gotta put good old 8-bit jason in the uh in my case but uh 8-bit jason may pop up every once in a while because uh kind of like giant lobster head i think i i've got a new mascot have a great day guys and uh thanks a lot for watching